Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite Six Six Six. We already knew of Octobriska from Khan, and we did confront Moskvin on this. Yet he didn't even try to disprove it. He told them by sheer luck their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby, and thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to. Move hey, you're watching me play Metro Last Light. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of me. What can you say to that? Even I would have done the That's same. But come on, it was Lasnitsky. The Rangers who stole a virus container from the E6 right before the outbreak. He's dead so now. What? There is not a single living witness besides Arthur. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through it, into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, yes Moskvin did gear up for war, but after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to oh, peace. Please. We must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, what difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. <laughs> and while Corbett. he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood. Oh, please. What? Please You've got clear. a better idea? You brought this ape here. Open air what lock. now? Yes, We're done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. All right, she's going down. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with me. Well, he knows what to do. Oh yeah, should be going down. God. Oh no. Polis, note one. I asked the kid how he made it. How did he survive the inferno? Now I know. When the missiles rained upon the city of the Dark Ones, he was simply not there. The Dark Ones. We've been asking ourselves how it happened so that new sentient life emerged almost instantly. Why did we take millions of years of evolution and all the Dark Ones needed were a few years? The answer was simple. It was us, people, who brought them to life. They emerged among us. Sukhoi, my stepfather, was right. They were the next stage of evolution. Next to ours. We were their fathers. They were our children. Ooh, this is a long one. Four pages. Holy shit. We had created so many weapons to destroy ourselves with. And one of those weapons gave birth to them. They are not like us. What kills us makes them stronger. We left them a ravaged, poisoned world, but they learn to live in it. They sustain themselves by absorbing radiation. After being born, they do not enter the world at once. For some time, they continue to exist in a dream, growing and learning from the ones who came before them, to be before them. Sounds a lot like Silvari from Guild Wars, except Silvari are goofy-ass tree people. What we destroyed was their home, but the place where the young ones slept was underground, close to the botanical gardens, close to the TV tower. It was in the bunkers under the TV building which were connected to the D6. But when the warheads fell, the entrance tunnels caved in. The Dark Ones who were almost ready to enter the world got blocked inside. Instead of them, he, the little one, opened his eyes, awakened by the explosion and the last scream of his mother, knowing Nothing of what had happened, not ready for anything, knowing nothing of the world. He tried looking for his kin, but could not find them, because the few survivors continued sleeping. Their time to wake up had come and passed, very soon they could die of hunger, without even opening their eyes once. I don't know how Khan persuaded Miller, but he was the icon of stoicism and did not reach for his weapon when he saw the Dark One. And the following events shocked me, even more than the plans of the Reds. There were Dark Ones in D6. Khan had hypothesized that they were created artificially before the war. Created as what? Soldiers immune to radiation and having no need for voice communications? Could be so. But then, God probably decided to breathe souls into them. Is let this work out. I therefore have ordered Operation El Dorado shut down. Hell right! Oh, there's Nazis again. And, to summarize the official proceedings, 
I call on the leader of the red line, Comrade Boski. Comrade, comrade. And, and I won't, I won't hesitate to use this. Hi, Nazi guys. We also, we also promote the motion to distribute the wealth of D6 rightly and extremely, and extremely just and timely, and timely solution. Taking into, taking into account the sad, the sad realities of our poor, of our poor underground, underground world. But I would like, but to, I would like to digress. A full-blown full war, war in the metro would endanger, would endanger the lives of everyone who survived the nuclear apocalypse. It is time, it is time for, us to, for us to stop and think, and think what, we what people we people are doing. Are doing. Stop, stop, and think. And think. In the name, in the name of, of the service of humanity, humanity as, a species, as a species, I, Double I as, a as a chairman of the Red Line Politburo, am hereby, am hereby issuing, issuing an official order for the Red Army to cease all military, military operations. operations. But it won't end well. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little. Come on, you got your bandana. Hurrah, back. comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children. You are a liar! God, are you out of your mind? Yes. You know what I'm doing. A little bit. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards, take this man away. Ranger, stand up. Arthur, little one, it's your turn. And now, everything comes to light. Building. Ooh, a door. Comrade Moscovy, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might suffer. It's quarter but. <laughs> Court but. I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. Oh. He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. <laughs> Creepy hallway. I'm just waiting to turn around and see Alma come up behind me. Maxim, brother, I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. What? It is unanimous. Maxim Leonidovich Moskvy has been elected the new Secretary General of the party. Congratulations, Comrade Moskvy. Silent treatment. What are you looking at? With those honest eyes for. It was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out, and now he's got me by the balls. The balls. All because of you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so. But even so. Freaky time over? What... What was I... I... 
Out loud? Ah, I see. So you gave me something. Just like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes! I did. I poisoned him. But Gordon, I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end. The end. But you are the leader. Game order Police. him. Oh. Call the troops back. You stole them at this. Find some time to make a deal. What kind of... There's nothing more we can do here. Spoilers. Hurry. Faster. To the platform. Damn them. I'm not surrendering D6. Follow me. Wow. Sudden cut to black screen. Running, running, running. Ooh, do I get some heavy armor? I do get some heavy armor. We can go fuck some people shit up. We can fuck their shit up hard. Or at least we don't try. It's Anna! Bye, Anna! It would be bad for everyone if you lose? Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. Dun, dun, dun. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. The last battle. Well, I'd say we're getting pretty close to the end here. So here's our next cutoff point. I'm hypothesizing we're going to make a big fucking mess out of a whole bunch of people coming up. But that's all for next time. I'm Nano Elite 666. I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you've been enjoying. And we will see you on the other side of a loading screen.